Hey guys, it's Hank Saber coming to you with a UA deck profile following the January 2015 format. A lot of you guys have been requesting a ultra athlete deck and I thought I'd get one to you and kind of explained what I think the, the gist of the deck is and how to run a UA deck that's somewhat competitive. So let's get into the list. Sporting my blue and orange card sleeves. Representing my two favorite sports teams, Mets Islanders. So, start off, we got three copies of the UA midfielder. He's the main startup guy. He's basically your, your, uh, the card that you're going to search out. Uh, your your uh, Mighty Sluggers and your UA Perfect Aces with, uh, with Stadium on the field. So, he's really good. He's basically your start starting play most of the time. So, two of him. Three of him, sorry. Three copies of the best one of them all, Mighty Slugger. This guy is single-handedly made the deck somewhat playable. I mean, him with Power Jersey just gives you pretty much a game in not one turn, but probably two. So he's he's amazing, and I just I just love the deck because of him. So three of him. I then run a little bit of a, a curveball. No pun intended. With uh, the U, the two UA Perfect Aces. And I, most people run him at three. I just think the way the deck is supposed to be played, you want to play more traps, less monsters. So I like two perfect aces, and I just never see my, see myself using the third. So two is fine. We play one goalkeeper, just a really good defensive card, and I play one block backer. I basically took out the third perfect ace for the. Uh, for the block backer, so yeah, and I don't play playmaker because I don't like to play too many monsters. So I play two copies of Spell Striker. He's your tribute fodder, and you can use him to make MX Saber Invoker if you ever have two on the field at the same time. So two st two strikers, pretty good. And then I play two copies of TG Striker. That was a little bit of a synchro engine, but also tribute fodder for the spells. So that's the monsters. So not so many monsters. We play three copies of UA Stadium. Obviously, you need to play three. You play two copies of Power Jersey. Three is a little too much, but two is pretty good. One turnover tactics. It's an okay card. I just I feel like it would clog at multiples. I just one is one is a good number for this. I then play. Huh, I thought I played more than one. I play one copy of Kaiser Coliseum. I thought I played the second. I can't find the second. Huh. Oh well. Oh, well, I guess I play one. One Kaiser Coliseum. I thought I played the second. I guess not. And then play. Oh, here's the second. Here's the second. Here we go. Two copies of Kaiser Coliseum. Yay, two copies. Alright. Three Rota. Obvious. You need to play three. And we got two Terraforming. Two Lumbus T outside the third. One Book of Moon. Pretty solid. Dimensional Fisher, because you can play. Basically, if you can play it, you play it. I play one copy of Feast of Level Well Level 5 because it's just a good card to get back into your plays. And once you summon the two, uh, you could basically, or, or one, you can return it to hand to special another one if you can, or make it in Z's. So, one, one Feast is fine. Play two Forbidden Lance because once I get my. My East Slugger on the field, I like to like it for to stay there. So two forbidden lands. I play that's not different the spells. That's the spells. Okay. A little spell heavy. I wanna cut it down a little bit. I play one trap stun. Trap stun's pretty good. I like it. Um I, I might bump this up to two. I play one wire tap, so I mean solemn warning is a thing. So this is my kind of candidate to solemn warning, so this way it's possible to candidate, but I like wire top at one, so yeah, one of each. I then play a card that I've seen no one play, mostly because no one play the TG Strikers, but because I do play the TG Strikers, I play one Reinforced Truth, so it basically brings out this guy in, in defense, and you get, activate this on your opponent's end phase because you can attack the turn that you activated, or you can do it on 
your opponent's battle phase if you need a defense, but mostly you activate this on their end phase, you special this, you tribute during your turn, and hopefully make a play. So I, I like one of this, or if you have a midfielder or a spell striker, you can always make some other kind of weird, wacky play. So one Reinforced Truth, one TT, one Solemn Warning, one Bottomless, one Compulsory, and one Macrocosmos. So that's what I run for the traps. I would really like to play more traps, more probably Phoenix Chain, but I just don't have the room. And there's the problem with the deck is you have to play a certain amount of spells to kind of exist. You need some consistency, which is the main problem for the deck. That's why I probably won't be com play competitive as much. So for the extra deck, for the synchros, we play one Armades, Keeper Boundaries, a good level five. So I play this as my level 5, and at level 6 I play Goyo, and for the rare, level 7 that you make, I'll play Black Rose. For the XZs, rank 3s, I play 1x Saber Invoker, for the rare times you can make it, you make it. Uh, wind up Zen Mains, for the rank 4s we run Excalibur, we run Castell, we run Exit Knight, 1 Dweller, the 1 101, Cowboy for Days. For the level 5s, we run Tyrus, Keeper of Genesis. Armadius, uh, uh, sorry, Adrius, Keeper of Armageddon. We run Artifact Durandal because it's a really good card. And number 61 for Gasaurus. So that's really it. No side for this, guys. And I hope you like my UA deck. I know it, it's probably not perfect, but just the fact that you can run, you can just bring out Mighty Slugger and just attack for game is just really cool. So, really cool. So, I mean, would I run this competitively? Maybe not. You could probably get by at locals running this and maybe topping, but that's really it. So, yep, that's really the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it for the time being. I'll probably uh, do a little bit of an updated build if I can find some way to cut down the monster lineup a little bit or the spell lineup and add more traps. And I think the extra deck, though, was pretty good. I mean, you don't go into the extra deck much, but that's really pretty much what an extra deck would look like for UA, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. A lot of snow outside, so I'll give you. I'll definitely be doing more Yu-Gi-Oh deck profiles. So for now, this is Hank Saber signing off. Peace.